It's my belief that as chefs and restaurateurs or those in the food industry that we're blessed to have not only a voice and a platform, but I believe that each and every one of us as artists or entrepreneurs or culinary professionals has unique knowledge and wisdom and experiences that have been bestowed upon us. And I believe that the sum total of our experiences, our highs, our lows, our struggles and our triumphs can all be used in positive ways to impact not only those around us, but also those in our communities and the world at large. My story began when I suddenly found myself thrust into the role of being a single parent, trying to raise my young daughter full time and provide for her with my time and my presence as well as monetarily. And I found myself in a very stressful situation where I had to create income that allowed her and I to stay in the neighborhood with friends that she grew up with as well as stay in the school that she was familiar with. But that job also and that income needed to also allow me to be active and engage as a parent in her day-to-day -day life. You know, the traditional jobs and roles as a culinary professional that I had maintained before simply would not allow that type of flexibility and freedom that I knew my child so desperately needed. Because, you know, divorce is never easy and the choices we make as parents, they really will affect our kiddos the rest of their life. And I knew that as a father of a young girl, I had to do everything in my power to help her through the devastation of, you know, that divorce can sometimes bring into a child's life. Consistency and being there for her on a regular basis were my main goals, and I had to figure out some things pretty damn quick. I knew that I had to balance providing income for my child and for her future, but I also knew what, very well from friends and from colleagues who had gone through their own bitter divorces that it was almost impossible to balance both a high-level, high-paying professional career with a family, and especially as a single dad. Well, I was committed to myself and my kiddo that I was going to figure out how to do this successfully. Because I look at my role as a single father seriously and knew that if nothing else, I would make a difference and an impact in her world. So I began the process of combining my culinary knowledge with my love of marketing and branding and the power of the internet to design a business and a revenue stream for myself that allowed me the time freedom at home with the power to earn a significant income to provide for my family. Now I use these tools and platforms to shift and shape my life and my business and my income in ways that I, I simply couldn't imagine before. It, it completely altered every aspect of my world. Not only did I get to design a life that was fulfilling and lucrative, but I, in the process I became more alive and more vibrant due to the changes. You know, I was experiencing levels of happiness and fulfillment that others only dreamed of. And, you know, I got to work on very, very cool projects and with some of the best chefs and celebrities and, you know, agencies in New York City and some of the largest food companies in the world. You know, I'm blessed to have the life that I have and I'm honored for the friends and the colleagues that I've met and worked with. Well, some of those people said to me, Mark, listen, your experience, your background are inspiring and you should tell others about what you did and how you do it, how you did it. And I said, well, what do you mean? And they said, well, why don't you write a book about it or give speeches on it or, you know, post some blogs on that interweb thing or get some videos up there, you know, something to get out there. And of course, I had no flippant idea how you do any of that, but I knew that my experience could help people. I wanted to share with other chefs and restaurateurs and culinary professionals that there were other options for building up their brands, products or services. And that since we're lucky to be alive at this moment in history, you know, how we can harness the power of digital marketing to not only explode our revenue and build our businesses up, but to also effortless, effortlessly communicate with millions of people all over the world at a moment's notice so that you can become a true rock star chef. By the way, I think it's time to start giving that name or that phrase a new meaning in the marketplace. I mean, yes, you can make money by doing what we do, but you can also become somebody who positively impacts the world around you with regards to food in so many ways. Like the way that we grow or we harvest or the way that we process and we cook and ultimately how we deliver amazing meal experiences to customers, fans and guests. You can be somebody who inspires and instructs the next generation of cooks and chefs and foodies based upon your life experiences, your food philosophy, your offerings or your culinary point of view. The challenge is that it's hard to believe in your voice or perspective. It's hard to believe that the products or programs or services that you offer have value in the marketplace. But I'm here to tell you, they do. Because once I started sharing my voice and my message and my story with other people, everything completely transformed for me in my life. You know, of course, my, as my business and my experiences grew year over year, I started getting to hang out with amazing chefs and celebrities and high performing individuals who are changing and affecting our world in substantial ways. And, and I'm not talking about the tabloid stars of the minute, but actual individuals who are changing the game in so many industries and in so many ways. You know, look, 
I come from a very large family and I was taught at a young age the belief in and the power of people to positively change the world. And I know that may sound a little hippie-ish, but hey, my parents were coming of age in the 60s. I was born in the 60s, so maybe that's where all that comes from. But seriously, I truly love people and I believe in other people despite you know, some of the crazy examples from our modern world. Most of all, I believe in you. I believe that you have a voice and I believe that as a chef, as a restaurateur, as a food service professional, we have an amazing gift and responsibility to share with the world. And I believe that if I can just teach you how to strategically position and brand yourself or your products or your services in the marketplace, then not only can we build revenue for you and your business, but we can also help you reach millions of people and positively impact your family and your community at large. And isn't that really what, you know, truly what life's all about? Helping others no matter how small in meaningful ways? And I truly believe as, as culinary artists and professionals, at our core DNA, we believe in the service of and in helping others. I mean, think about our craft. We bring people together around the table throughout many moments of their lives, from date night out on Friday to many special celebrations that occur over the lifetime. So I'll ask you again, are we here for ourselves or are we here to serve and help other people with our gifts and our talents that just happen to be centered around food? If you believe like I do, then let's not limit our capabilities or our vision for ourselves tomorrow based on what our capabilities are today. You know, I think part of our destiny is to see something bigger for ourselves. That way we can rise up and use our voice and our experiences and our artistry to make a difference in the world. My job is to help you find that voice. My job is to help you get that voice out into the marketplace in a meaningful way. My job is to get you paid for that voice. My job is to ensure that that voice of yours is authentic and real for you. And also show you how to use that voice to build something that you never imagined possible. I believe in you and I believe in the power of your voice.